Disney has a new plan for us to finally watch Black Widow. Scott Pilgrim is heading back to theaters. And I've got some thoughts on Monster Hunter Rise. All that and the latest in everything cool today in The Rundown. Hey, welcome to The Rundown Live. I hope everybody is doing great out there. This is a live version of The Rundown, so um, there might be a couple little stumbles and bumbles, but you know the deal. I want to welcome everybody into the show today. Mr. Mass Produce was first in. Thank you for being here, Hip Hop Dan, Blair Farrell, JBJ Blaze. Good to see you. And Goku, yes. Good to see everybody today. Uh, this one is actually going out to Matt Brace, Spidey82, who reached out on Twitter and says, can I get a shout out for my wife, Jill? It's her birthday. Hurrah! Everybody give Jill a happy birthday. Uh, and she watches the rundown every day with uh, Matt, which is awesome. Thank you, Jill and Matt. Let's get going with your rundown. Now, it looks like Marvel and DC have finally settled on a plan for how to release Black Widow. As anticipated, the, move will, the movie will see Johansson's character face off against Taskmaster, Taskmaster, that's tough to say, and will launch in theaters and on Disney Plus Premier Access on July 9th. People will need to uh, spend more money in order to access the movie, but the wait for this film will finally be over. This is something that we have been waiting for forever. It was supposed to come out last year, obviously, and uh, all kinds of stuff got in the way. I can't wait to see this battle between Black Widow and Taskmaster, and we're going to have a whole bunch of you know Russian intrigue and lots of other you know agents that uh, Black Widow knows. There's going to be some family history and some darkness. Black Widow is an amazing character and I feel like we're getting a little kind of taste of this intrigue with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier right now um, that's that same kind of vibe <laughs> May 1st it's got right there it's amazing how many times the this uh, movie release date has bounced around out there uh, but we're finally going to be able to see it we are going to have to spend the dough to be able to you know sit down and uh, have our curiosity satiated and feel like we're really caught up with the MCU I don't even know all of the characters I've you know I've been pretty good at trying to stay away from all of the plot details and stuff in there but um, they David Harbour is in this movie as well, who I love, and Rachel Weisz, who I also love, is awesome. Uh, so I th and Frances uh, Pugh, I believe, is her name. Um, this is going to be a big breakout MCU moment for her as well. Uh, I, I, I am super psyched to finally see this movie, and we uh, we've only got a few more months to wait. Um, I will likely not be going to see this in the theater. Uh, so, yeah, I, as soon as this is available to me, for sure, I'll come back with the review. Uh, but Disney had more stuff to talk about uh, in addition to this new release date and this new reveal for The Black Widow. Uh, they've, they're also going to do something similar where they're going to release a movie called Cruella into theaters and on Disney Plus Premier Access at the same time. And that's going to hit uh, in May 28th. And they're going to be releasing Luca, the Disney Pixar movie. It's another one of these Pixar movies, just like they did with Soul. It's just going to be available to Disney Plus subscribers. You're not going to have to pay anything extra to get it. And this movie absolutely looks gorgeous, really beautiful artwork, as we can kind of come to expect from Pixar. But it is a bit strange that the Pixar movies, they just say, well, here you go. You can have this one. Why do you guys think that is? Why would they give people Pixar films which are prestigious I mean they made Coco and they made Soul they made all of these awesome films over the years they just put them into the Disney Plus library they they don't have any other kind of extra expense in order for people to see this film I can't wait to see Luca it looks really cool um, but they've also got some other big dates and a lot of them are uh, related to the MCU, what I put together here, a little list. Shang-Chi now has been moved to September 3rd. Eternals is coming out November 5th. Doctor Strange 2, March 25th, 2022. Thor Love and Thunder, May 6th, 2022. Black Panther 2, a lot of twos. July 8th, 2022. Captain Marvel 2, November 11th, 2022. And we're also going to get a new Indiana Jones next July 29th. And Avatar apparently every Christmas, 20 sec, uh, 22, 24, 26, and 2028. 20, Boy, we're going to have a lot of Avatar headed our way. Um, I would say go ahead and pencil in dates in calendars, but be prepared to erase them 
and then move everything over because you know what's going on out there in the in the movie universe out there. But it's, it is exciting. I cannot wait. I mean, it feels pretty locked in that we're going to be watching Black Widow soon, and I cannot wait. And, of course, we've got Loki, and we've got all of these other MCU things, the Hawkeye show and the Ms. Marvel show. It's going to be a very marvelous year for uh, Marvel Entertainment. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, well, that's not the only big movie news that's uh, happening right now. Scott Pilgrim is heading back to theaters. And uh, this is a superb movie that Edgar Wright directed for us many years ago. It's heading back uh, to Dolby Cinema Theaters. It's a partnership between Edgar Wright and Universal and also with... uh, I guess Brian Lee O'Malley, I think, is the name of the author, uh, to bring this movie back. But Dolby is really sort of running with this. And Edgar actually tweeted out this today. He said, so this has been a long in, long in the works, Scott Pilgrim fans, but I'm pleased to say that, the North Ameri- that in North America on April 30th, the film will come back to the big screen looking and sounding better than ever in Dolby Cinema. It's only for one week. Watch the epic new trailer and get tickets. And he says, the new Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos version uh, was supervised by the original team sound mixer julian slater colorist steven nakamura and dp bill pope legend myself and editor pa- uh, paul matchless and there's going to be a 4k ultra uh, blu-ray available for this version as well i can't wait for that and of course we had the phenomenal scott pilgrim game come out not too long ago which uh, ubisoft really kind of nailed it was you know, long you know awaited that they would bring this freaking thing back for us but it's an amazing game and it honored the movie so well it honored the the comic series so well a total blast to play early earlier this year and the the coolest thing is they added all the content from uh, you know all the DLC and all the extra stuff um, and it's on everything and it's there's actually and I think it's all sold out by now but there's physical releases of this game as well Uh, totally fantastic wonderful way to celebrate a wonderful property Um, and I don't know you know I guess it's very dependent if you have a Dolby Cinema in your area whether you're going to feel like you want to race out to the theaters at the end of April probably not Um, but uh, it is exciting that there is this celebration around Scott Pilgrim, and it would be amazing if Edgar Wright was either brought back into the fold to make a, a sequel, um, which would be very interesting. Michael Sarah's got to be forty years old now. It would be, it would be very interesting to go back and uh, see all of those characters uh, reprise their roles again. Uh, but Edgar Wright is such an amazing director. I'm very happy for him. And uh, the other news is that uh, Monster Hunter Rise reviews are starting to hit right now. I've got a copy of the game. I've really only just started to play the title, but I'm having a very good time. It's sitting at 87 on Metacritic right now. Lots of very positive, glowing reviews out there. It's uh, got it's a really nice treat for Nintendo Switch fans. Visually, it's beautiful, and you know, like every Monster Hunter game in the series, it's just completely jam packed with content for you to explore and to have fun with everybody knows the whole idea behind these monster hunter games is to go off and try to you know find and hunt down and pursue these giant beasts and it's better to do it in a group and of course there's some pretty robust and and uh, uh super solid online play with the game that's what i've heard i haven't played it online yet but uh, the one cool thing that's really sweet with this is you have a rideable dog uh, they call them um uh, Palimutes, Palimutes. So they join the Palicos, our little cat friends. And then you've also got a little owl friend that will uh, fly around with you and take pictures. And uh, it's just awesome. It's filled with like little comedic touches and lots of interesting characters. And the other cool thing, you guys know I love my Spider Man. They have these wire bugs in the game, which allow you to swing and zip line to all kinds of new heights. And it adds a verticality to the experience, which is completely brand new. So suddenly these uh, very maze-like maps that we always get with Monster Hunter games, they, they really open up. You can go up to really cool high platforms. And the wire bugs actually can come into play when you're getting into combat. And, it, you know, visually, it looks incredible. It really does, whether you're in handheld mode or on the big screen. It's uh, so far impressing the hell out of me. It's another solid role-playing experience for the Nintendo Switch. I actually had somebody comment on one of the recent rundowns how there there is a lack of... of um, um rpgs for the the switch recent you know like they, they want to have some classic rpgs and yes there aren't maybe a ton of uh 
uh, you know, super retro role-playing experiences, although we have Octopath Traveler and Bravely Default 2. But this is an exquisite, at least as from what I've seen so far and played so far, this is an exquisite role-playing experience. Definitely more action hewing, um, and you, you have to have some pretty good uh, reflexes and some good strategies. There's also a tower defense element in, the, in here called uh, the Rampage, where all the beasts come towards the town, and you have to kind of set up all of these defenses to knock them out before they... they they, they get enraged and they come and try to uh, crush everybody. So there's a whole other layer of strategy involved with this game as well. Uh, don't have a full review for you yet. And I can't stream it yet. I, otherwise, I would today. But uh, so far, Monster Hunter Rise is very impressive. And of course, I'll dig deeper in it and I'll have some further thoughts on the game for you very, very soon. Um, and one final little bit of uh, uh, news for today. Amazon Game Studios has opened up a new studio in Montreal, which is a, a very smart play if, you're, if you've got a, a, you know, tons of money and you want to make video games. Montreal is not only loaded with great talent, but of course it has uh, lots of great tax breaks. They've struggled though as a, a game publisher. I've, I've got footage here of Breakaway, which I think it's called Breakaway. They canceled this game. They canceled Crucible. They did manage to ship this game. It's called The Grand Tour, which shipped alongside the television show, which Amazon had been playing. And they've got this big, uh, massively multiplayer game that they've been working on forever called New World, which is apparently going to launch this year. But Amazon has been a bit scattershot with their own internal publishing um, but what they are saying at the executive level is that they're taking it seriously and, uh, you know, they're, they're figuring out the ropes on how to do this. So good luck to everybody out at Amazon Game Studios Montreal. I hope that turns out really well. It's being run by a lot of people that have a lot of talent from Rainbow Six Siege. So, uh, you know, a prediction would be that they're going to make some kind of free-to-play squad-based shooter, which... Uh, you know, it's in, it's in their wheelhouse and it probably would make Amazon a ton of money. That sounds cool. I'm also looking forward to checking out their Luna um, uh, service, which is, you know, s supposed to compete with some of the ideas that Stadia had. But the difference is that Amazon has this retail clout. So they're going to be launching a monthly subscription uh, cloud-based gaming service where you pay 10 bucks a month or whatever, but you're going to have a whole stack of games that you can play right out of the get-go, as opposed to Stadia's model where you can pay for pro features, but you also have to buy your games, which is probably why things didn't work out so well for, for Stadia or haven't yet. Uh, but yeah, I am excited to see what goes on with Amazon. They make so much freaking money and they're such big players in the video game space, obviously with their retail, but also with Twitch. So um, they could do some exciting things, but they just got to deliver those games. Uh, thank you for becoming a member, Peter Kokasar. Uh, that's going to do it for our rundown today, though, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode for you. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you to all of our subscribers. And yes, of course, thank you to all of our EPN members. We'll see you soon. And until then, play forever. Welcome back. <laughs> so I'm going to cut out the rundown like I did last week. This is the new the new plan. Uh, so um, I'm glad that you didn't leave. <laughs> I, I don't know how to put all of this info into a thumbnail or into the tiny little bit of text that YouTube gets for our titles out there. So uh, we are going to be doing... Um, the, I, and I'm thinking that I'm going to move th this kind of format to Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I've been trying to rack my brain because I've got this stack of games that I want to review uh, and cut little video pieces together for. But I just uh, I'm running out of time, you know, by the end of the week after I've cut a whole bunch of rundowns, I just can't do it. So a little quick production meeting here. I think what I'm going to do is this kind of thing where I will do the rundown as a live show, which takes me a couple hours to kind of assemble all those pieces. And then we'll play some games together. Uh, with EPN plays on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then that'll give me time to edit some uh, 
uh, reviews on the run type content for you guys and some more side scrolling superheroes. Uh, so that's what's going on in my brain. But uh, thank you for sticking around. Um, in order to kind of cleanly pull out the rundown, I can't really talk about EPN plays in the rundown um, at the beginning. But uh, that's what we're going to do. So uh, welcome. We are starting um, uh, with a little bit of um, uh, Bethesda on Xbox Series X. I wanted to do this um when this was announced so we <laughs> oh you like the intro very cool awesome thank you goku and thank you for the super chat um all right so you, we're gonna play a little bit of uh prey which i believe you guys can tell me i've got all of the bethesda games obviously because i've got game pass but you guys can fill me in on uh what's um um, what, what has been enhanced and what hasn't, you guys can kind of tell me what you want, want me to play as well. So I haven't played Prey since I reviewed it, and I have to ad admit I wasn't blown away. I think I, I checked it out on the PlayStation, so I think we're going to be starting from scratch here. Um, let me just get in into the game, and yeah, I think we're... And I'm going to turn the music off because I don't know what's licensed, what isn't, so... And Peter Kokosar wants to check out a little Fallout 4. I just loaded my Fallout 4 uh, save game, and I'm, like, setting up for some kind of an attack. And it's been so year so many years since I played the freaking game that I don't, like, I just, I feel very, um, it feels weird to just jump in at the beginning. Okay, so, or jump in at in the middle of the game there like that. Okay, so we are going to, uh oh I didn't check I didn't change my camera controls here. Wait a sec, one second. Options. Invert. Yeah. Did that kit? Yep. Okay. All right. So let's play a little prey. Um boom. All right. Okay, let me know uh how the audio mix is. We'll play as this guy. All right, here we go. Let's do it. A bit more gaming, little little less talking. <laughs> Mr. Mass Produce. Uh, let's see. You streamed it before on PS4 in 20... Oh, Adrian, Leon, with the great callback. Amazing. I, I streamed it in 2017. Holy crap. Is that when it came out, 2017? Um, so this is loading off of not the Xbox internal hard drive. So it's taking a little bit of time. So this is coming off of the uh, external, um, and it's not even an SSD. It's off an external drive. So it's going to take a little longer. I don't think this is indicative of how quickly the game would load up off of the SSD. That's internal on the uh, Series X. But let's. I hope that it is going to um, have the enha enhancements. I hope so. Obviously, no HDR, and it's not in 4K. I'm, I'm streaming Good morning, at, at 1080p. Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. All right, here we go. Uh, anyone invert for flying but regular aiming gets confusing when there's uh, only one setting. Uh, Matthew Winstone, yeah, that's a very good point. I think the more sort of granular that the developers can, cr you know, create their options for controls, the better for everybody, hey, right? Morgan, wake up. You're burning daylight. I sent a helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Can somebody oh, tell me listen, uh, if this ran at wait, 60 wait, frames a second or... Oh, yeah, right. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like or 30 frames per second on the uh, Xbox One X? Because I can't remember. I, I Honestly, I didn't have time to kind of dig into the data. I just wanted to uh, try stuff out here for you guys. Any chance you'll be streaming the Magic Legends open beta? I don't think so, Goku. Um, definitely what will happen if I do two EPN Plays streams a week, which is what I'd like to do. I'll have time Morning, to Mr. check you. out more stuff. But I haven't really kind of scheduled any of that yet. Yeah, this does look a little bit more fluid, doesn't it? These things can be tricky, you know? Vic, I'd buy a t-shirt with the new EPN Plays Forever graphic. Awesome. Oh, the EPN Plays play, the EPN Plays Forever graphic. Oh, that's cool with the the uh, um, 
I should maybe do that. That the sort of neon thing that I I, I did. All right, so let's go down to uh, roof. Robert Tolan. Ah, uh, thank you, Polaris sucks. That's very sweet. Hopefully, you can love me on the internet too. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so we're getting in a helicopter. Are we, are we going to space? Is that what we're doing right away? This feels very Deus Ex-like. I can't remember any of this, by the way. Hello, Victor Lucas. Hello, Jordan Cunningham. How are you? Mr. Love you. the all caps. Please make the all caps really help my eyeballs. Victor, the original Trans gangster. Trans facility Mr. is just a short hop. That's very kind. Seventy-eight degrees, clear skies all the way. Oh, that's very cool. I think David Fincher was the first movie director to embed. If I'm thinking correctly, it was the uh, uh, Panic Room. The Jodie Foster movie? Is that correct? I'm th like, I, I think it was Fincher who always was really smart about the way that he integrated digital effects into uh, filmed material. That's a nice view on the bay there. And I remember it blowing me away. The, uh, the, the titles were embedded into the scenery of the, um, of the city. And this evokes that. I, I, uh, it, can someone Google that? That would be amazing. I, I can't remember, but I, I'm pretty sure it was Fincher, and I'm pretty sure it was Panic Room. I think he directed that with Jodie Foster. How come you don't need reading glasses yet, pathetic Earthling? I had, um, I do need them for reading uh, books. Not so much on the phone, uh, but I do need them for paper, and it's mostly because of lighting more than anything. I just can't, I don't have like reading lights I know about off of iPads and phones so far so good but I did have the laser surgery uh, Here we about are, 10 Mr. years you. ago um, the glass on so, the so far out. so good with good the eyeballs did I just get an achievement I may have I haven't played this on the Xbox I played it on the PlayStation hello Dr. Yu hello robot how are you? Okay, there we Welcome, go. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have so a we're going to see a lot less elevators in, facility. in this Please generation. Confirm. That's my prediction, right? Like all of these SD, uh, SSDs are so super fast, and we don't have software that really takes advantage of it yet. We're just starting to get there. I think the Ratchet and Clank uh, game is going to blow our freaking minds because everything's going to change so quickly. But elevators have been this Morgan, this trope. Finally. In, this is, is this Benedict Wong? Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your be. eye? Um, we're, Still uh, I know the test might seem a little So we're not going to be but having to load so stuff up like, like we have Breaking in convention is so many blood. games for so long. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Right, Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see Looks you Looks really good. When did this come out? Uh, and Kashimoto is there with the Google backup. David Fincher did direct Panic Room. I think the opening title sequence was the first one that I recall where all the, the titles were... What did I do? I took an elevator to here, and now I get back in an elevator? Come on. Seriously, really? Oh, okay. I, I, do I? No, okay. Why is it open? Oh, they're just letting me go this way. Okay, here we go. I, I do seem to recall Panic Room being the first one Good with morning, the Morgan. titles on the building. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to oh, run game audio is loud. Thank you. Probably not the kind of thing you I have to, I imagine, the technology to turn it down. Me, you're going to do fantastic. Yeah, you All guys good. let me know on the balance there. Great. Thank you, Matthew Winstone. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button. Arcane is very freaking talented. I love their art. I love their, you know, kind of cartoonified but still realistic looking cartoonified is a word 
Yeah. Is, could, yeah. Somebody want to check Webster's for me? Uh, but still realist, realist, realistic looking uh, humans like in Dishonored. We're going to play a little Dishonored as well. Okay. What am I doing? Tap the button. Press the red button. What am I doing? Oh, man. Okay. What do I do? I got to stack them. Wonderful. That's. You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. <laughs> I just had to pick up a box? Okay. <laughs> That's the one thing about streaming and yakking while you're playing the game is I never hear what, they, what the instructions are. Okay, what do I do? Press the button. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take mm. your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Ah, uh, yes, Murdoch McCoy. Making up the words. I think I've been doing that for the, the whole time I've been doing reviews on the run. What am I doing? I'm hiding? Okay, so I can hide. Look. Is he? Hmm, uh, He's hiding behind the chair. Any synaptic register? At all? <laughs> uh, no? Directional Joy uh, recommends checking out No Clips Doc Sorry, on, the, let's keep things moving, on Arcane. Boy. Head into room C. <laughs> doing marvelous. Uh, th that would be cool. I'm a fan of those no-clip folks. They're doing some good work. Um, and uh, Mr. Mass produced to a one says, cartoonification is not a word, but it, sh right. it should be. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for <laughs> Hey, it. Vapor Zone, how are you? Press the red button when you're ready. All right, let's do this. Jump! I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. Oh, yes, Having great callbacks, CJ. <laughs> H real circuitous actually. completely uh, One baffled last him. Room. Let's step into D. I am very good. I'm playing video games, and 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 you guys have chosen to watch me play the video games. It's very kind of you to be here. Thank you, Vapor Zone. Okay, so what am I doing now? All right. Can someone there get me go. a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Bad Morgan. Larry, too. Have a seat at the table Good to see you. Me, please. What up, Vic? Okay, I'm sitting down. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going yeah, to show that's, you a series uh, of questions. Pick the answer that makes um, the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. That's a very good point, Pathetic Earthling. That's a portal hook, I think, right? Portal really kind of set that, that sort of tone Whenever in motion. You're, ready, Morgan. you're planning a vacation. Oh, this is very Blade Runner. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Uh, new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. <laughs> Directional joy. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does that make you feel? Uh, ooh, calm. It was worth it. Ooh, that's Heavy stuff. <laughs> a runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. In track. All right. I do have a Good. little bit of empathy. Next. A uh, runaway train is... Well, I, except for that poor person on the track. Runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Whoa. Of course. Sorry, guy. Almost done. Ouch. A runaway train. This is bleak. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. <laughs> and, and there is no fat man mentioned. This is. Um, I, I, yeah, let's, let's be Superman. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Brutal questions. Well yes, Kashimoto. We nearly threw it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask oh. you what... Uh, where's my coffee? It's empty. Ah! Security! Security! Pretty soon, that's going to be me. I'm going to be Black Goo. 
Oh, okay. Nick asks, that's a very good question. Um, and I, I honestly don't know what's going on with Fall Guys not delivering Alex. local multiplayer. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. That's, that's a today. game that you want to share with someone in the away. room, right? Got it. Fall Guys, wonderful game. But it's so lonely. Because you, you're not really even chatting with the people Good that morning, you all Morgan. mix into the, into the uh, different March game 15, shows. You're just trying to sabotage them and, and win. But So you're not really chatting about this, but it's the perfect game to show off to somebody that's new to video games. And that lack of local multiplayer is so much a misstep. It, they really should have it, you know? Um, because then you could gather around a, 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 a screen together with two to four people and uh, and have a party. It's a blast. Avatar guy S. Nintendo still king of local multiplayer. Absolutely. And what's interesting about um, the Switch as we're moving into potentially another generation of the Switch is that likely there's going to be a lot of households with more than one. And if Nintendo can finally figure out how to easily share game code across a multitude of Switch devices to enable multi player locally on multiple screens that will be a fantastic new category for them to get into and fall guys which is coming to the switch you know if i was running things that's what i would do i would tell mediatonic make it local multiplayer we can share the code on a bunch of different switches and everybody can play or they can play split screen and that'll be exclusive to nintendo here you go cha-ching um but i'm not running things i just complain <laughs> I complain politely because uh, I, I, uh, I guess I'm Canadian and I have respect for those developers. Okay. Um, eat. Drink. I don't know why, but I did it. Okay. So now I look at my eyeball, I think, right? No. Or is that just in the trailer? Okay. Put on my suit. Right on, Vapor. Thanks for the backup. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh, <laughs> imagine if you opened email and that's the, the, the email that you would get, just a whole bunch of those. That would be that was so frightening. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, we're on a... Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil this for people that haven't seen it. Um, okay. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know if there's a right or wrong. Probably isn't a right or a wrong. So far, so good, right? It's running pretty swell. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're okay. not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. Oh. If you want to know what's going on, First, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay. Ah! This is where we start playing with our minds. What is this note? Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. This is very fluid. Was it a 60 frames or 30 frames per second uh, on initial launch? Because I believe this is running very smoothly at 60 frames per second right now. Okay, so this was all simulation. That's cool. Very portal meets Half-Life. That's cool. Typhic Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Mm. The one thing I remember disliking about this game is that 
the amorphous black gooey kind of enemies. I didn't find them that enthralling. You know, I found them... Like, we see so many of them throughout the game. I can't take any of that stuff. I don't know where I'm... what I'm doing. Oh, damn it. That's with me. This guy. I loved the setup and the atmosphere and um, the terror <laughs> that I felt while playing this game, but I just didn't... Uh, I, I, I guess the enemy types really didn't blow me away. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't want to see that in real life. Initially, it was 30 frames per second. All right, Kashimoto. So it wasn't as slick as this. This is, this is pretty darn cool. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just also, Bioshock. <clears throat> uh, they do evolve, but they're like bigger, tougher, black, gooey things. <coughs> um, Bruce McLavy. Very Bioshock. All good. I mean, great sources of influence. Cool direction. It's definitely something here. Maybe this game deserves a replay and a, and a, a number of evaluation. I mean, I, I, I love revisiting games and they're just silky smooth. Not that the uh, original release was a dog or anything like that, but it's just... It's, it's a nice... It's a nice... Uh, really cool benefit from... Uh, Upgrading, leveling up in, in a console generation like this. All right, okay. So what do, I, do I have the thing? Yes, I have the key. All right, here we go. I recently played and beat the original 360 version of Bioshock on my Series X and compared it to, a little to my 360, and Series X ran really nice. There's my point exactly, Kashimoto. I was really impressed with the... Uh, I, I did a, a whole video because 2K released, like, every game in their library for the Nintendo Switch in within a month, and they sent me codes for all of them, and I did a, a 2K... Uh, I think it was the 2K Port Party video, uh, and I looked at all of these different games, but Bioshock ran beautifully on the Nintendo Switch, and it was so cool to... You know, it always blows me away that you can, you know, put your Switch in the bag and... Walk around with it and get lost in these massive experiences like that. But I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. This is so Bioshock, isn't it? I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Pick up the neuromod. Where might that be? We've got to smash the goo spiders. Goo spiders with the wrench. Gotcha. All right. Ooh, I need some power, some health. What is this, Neuromod? There it is. Gimme. All right, the Neuromod is a revolutionary Transtar invention that allows you to learn new skills in a... Oh, I pressed the button. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, very Bioshock. Holy moly, it's so Bioshock. <laughs> Smash him good, Vic. I will, Murdoch McCoy. I love that name. 
Bioshock absolutely sure stands up. That's the thing, right? All of this idea of closing digital stores yeah. and digital libraries, like uh, what's the, the, the hellstorm that uh, Sony kind of lit this week with the announcements. Well, they haven't announced it. The, the rumor that uh, they're going to close all the stores. The classic content is still very playable. Classic Bioshock, still crazy fun. Um, I want to get somewhere in this game because there's a big shocking reveal, no pun intended. Um, but I don't know how long it takes. Here we go. This might be it. Let's find out. Um... Uh, Matthew Winstone, I believe that Prey did. If someone can Google the games, because I got them all, just Google which ones got the big improvements and let let me know and we'll pick a couple of them and uh, we'll check them out. I believe that Fallout 4 got the 60 frames per second upgrade. Uh, and maybe what I can do is I can start a whole fresh new game there. And Skyrim might have... And I think Dishonored you made it. did as well. Okay, so we're Ready in space. First real view of the world. Which is so cool. Very Bioshock. It's Bioshock in space. And I, I guess that's what it was. Like, you're constantly reminded that this is kind of like Bioshock. To get to your office. And then all, all you're around. really smashing are these gooey black see. things. And, know you, you know, when you think questions. of the splicers... It's so Bioshock. Holy mackerel. That's so cool, though. And we eventually get out of the, the space station and we're floating around in zero-g. It's, 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 a, it's a cool station game. Leadership has issued an alert. All, All right, let's... Um, report to muster stations immediately and await further yeah, loading screens, uh, Bruce McLavy. It's loading off of my external hard drive not even an ssd drive i have all my old xbox one games running off of it so uh, if i had installed it directly to the ssd which of course is full um it would have loaded up like that but it's not i like that i can use my existing hardware though my old i just took it off my xbox one x and plugged it into the uh, series x and everything worked and loaded off loaded off uh loaded up beautifully and uh haven't had any issues, and when I fill up the internal hard drive, the Xbox always says you want to put this on the uh, onto your external drive. Um, it's very elegant, it, you know, in terms of storage and accessing content and stuff like that. I've been quite happy with the uh, Series X, uh, and quite disappointed by the PlayStation 5's lack of room. And uh, I've had a lot of PS4 games um, give me a little bit of trouble, like actually freeze the. Uh, PlayStation if I put it into rest mode, especially PS4 games. I've had to restart the PS5, um, and there's no room, and I filled it up, and I've had to fill it up and delete it, fill it up and delete it, lots of times. Uh, okay. I haven't done a reviews on the run in space yet, Matthew Winstone. Maybe I will one day. You know who probably will is my kid, if she wants to, if she ever wants to, you know, take the mantle and be a a, re a reviewer on the runner, uh, I, I, I suspect there's going to be a whole generation of people that will be making it to uh, to space. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, quit there, not because I want to, but because I want to check out a couple of other things. I'm just going to put the... Uh, um, why don't we load up Fallout 4. I've turned the audio off just in case there is... Uh, there, you can see quick resume in action here. And I believe Fallout 4 is on the external drive, but it still knows to do it. Um, okay. So... My leg is hurt. And let's see, I put the... Uh, so I'm slow... I have music off. Okay. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's... Is Fallout 4 improved? 
<laughs> Kashimoto, wouldn't that be rad? And Johnny Millennium's daughter as well. We're all, uh, um, what is it, da dad, dad daughters? Da daughter, daughter dads? We're all daughter dads. Girl dads. Yeah, I don't know if this has got any, uh, does Fallout 4 have any improvement? Emilio Lopez wants to go to the movies and see Black Widow. I think that will be available to some folks. I think the um, uh, vaccinations, Emilio, in New York have actually been pretty solid. My leg is hurt, so I, I forget how to play this game. It's been a long time, guys. Um, I don't even know what I press to lose armor. What do I do? Is it this? No. I, c I can't even remember what I do. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Is it this? Oh, yes. No. Oh, guys. I'm embarrassed. It's been so long since I played Fallout. Um, not mods. There's mod support on this. Thing. Okay. Okay. I don't want to use up my ammunition. What the hell? What's the button? What do I do? I have to look at the Pip Boy, right? How do I play it? How do I? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, inventory data apparel. There you go. Okay. Uh, what's hurt? My right leg is hurt. Yes. All right. Let's see if that makes a difference. No. I'm still over encumbered. Okay. Um. Probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it. Still over encumbered. What's up? How much can I carry? Oh, I'm three set. I'm close. Okay. What's the weight? Let's see. All the stats. Gold is that? Don't need that. Okay, now I can move faster. I don't know if the, is this 60 frames a second? I can't even tell. I, I guess I should have taken a bit of time to check stuff out on the uh, on the One X. Let's walk around, get into town, kill some mutants, get killed because I'm, I'm wearing half my armor. I'm running around pantsless. All right, let's see. I don't know. It still feels a little choppy to me. Looks good, though. On, pup. Hi there, this is Fallout 4. Ooh. There's a giant creature. There's some humans around me. Nothing. 
Oh, don't hurt my dog. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Uh oh. What's this? Did he kill my dog? No. Ooh, there's a giant creature over there. Look at that. Ooh, I'm so dead. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Did it kill the other one? It did. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, man, that's awesome. This is what happens when you load up an old save. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> oh, and I've got zombies and all kinds of creatures out here, too. That's great. Some ghouls. <laughs> oh, I'm toast. <laughs> Ooh, look, there's a shark. Oh my god, that's awesome. Where's my dog? <laughs> this is not how you play Fallout 4, everybody. Ah! Let's go. It's like, I got a pea shooter. Yeah, I'm so done. <laughs> I honestly, I, I cannot tell if that's better, but that was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There was some uh, some wonderful esports caliber uh, play of Fallout Four. That was a, like a speed run you guys just witnessed. Um, okay, <laughs> that was insanity. Uh, let's let's um, let's go to uh, 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 some Dishonored here. Here we go. Let's go to my games and apps. Here we go. Um, Pop this on just in case the uh, some kind of licensed music starts rocking right away. Okay. Um, none of them got the enhanced for XS uh, stuff on them. Okay, so there's Fallout 4. Oh, I ran out of space for uh, Skyrim. That must have been what the, what the case was. Okay, so I did some Prey. And... Oh, I rented a room for Dishonored. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, let's see, where, where, how, how far did I get? Okay. Let's see if I have, do I have the original Dishonored? Yeah, I have to free up space. Cancel, okay. Um, what's up here? What do I have on here? Do I have any of the other Bethesda games? Um, I thought I had both Dishonored games on there. Oh, you know what? I think they didn't, uh, I have the Definitive Edition, but I don't know if this has been upgraded. Let's check this out. Speed run to nowhere. That's exactly where I went. Thank you, Marco A. <laughs> uh, all right, qu quick resume. Not quite, though. <laughs> this is also, I think, running off of the external drive here, so it's not going to be super fast. Yeah, this is not quick resuming right now at all. Oh, it may need to update. It may need to update. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, I love Quick Resume, Vapor Zone. It's awesome. So I think what happened there is that I tried to start it, but it needed to download some kind of quick little update file. Okay. This was our game of the year in 2011. And I don't know if Dishonored got uh, any kind of a bump up or an enhancement or whatever. Let's check it out. I, Louis Arias, I think what was going on in the background is it was downloading an update. Avatar, Avatar Guy S, uh, that sounds like a good idea for uh, creating a video uh, on upgrading the PlayStation 5 SSD. When I am able to do that, that sounds pretty cool. Um, let's put, I don't think there's any licensed music in here, but just in case. Oh, just making sure my controls. Great. Let's jump in. It's all right. Let's go. Stealth Mechanics and Deus Ex better, Louis Arias. Um, those games are amazing too. I think we're, we're talking about apples and oranges. There's so much so much enjoyable content in all of this. I love the, the fantasy kind of vibe of this and, and uh, the steampunk kind of vibe. Very cool game. Amelia Lopez. Yeah, I think the uh, when you're talking backwards compatibility, you can't really touch the Series X or the Series S. They've been crushing it. I looked at load times as a pee break, Vapor Zone. I think a lot of people, and I'm guilty of it too, um, thought of load times as a, uh, a Twitter break. I got some kind of Xbox notification. I don't know. I don't know what it was saying. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Rage 2 was a little disappointing, Kashimoto. There's some cool stuff in it for sure. I got addicted to the first Rage as well. I, I'm right there with you. Marco A, great question. Um, have I ever watched something that you w that got me in the mood to play something that I wouldn't normally? Um, I'm sure that's happened. I'm, I, you know, I, often when I'm pl watching a movie or a TV show, I'm thinking of getting home and then getting lost in a game. And certainly, you know, I can remember vividly thinking about watch I was watching Star Wars episode three and I had the episode three game um that the coalition made which actually was a pretty good game um and I I just wanted to get back home and play the game I wanted to kind of live in that world so that happens all the time and I I've def I, I can also vividly remember watching Saving Private Ryan I was playing Unreal at the time and Unreal had, you know, surround sound. I had a whole surround sound set up on my PC. I just fell in the water. Good job. <laughs> and I, I, it's a weird analogy because, you know, obviously it was incredibly realistic, Saving Private Ryan, and Unreal is not. Uh, but the combat was so vicious and in surround sound and Unreal that I, I could, I, I could kind of place myself into the game when I was watching the horrors of. Uh, the Normandy invasion and, and uh, saving Private Ryan, which is so weird, but I had just stopped playing the game, so it was it was resonating in my head when I went to see the when when I went to see the movie. Um, so that kind of thing happens all the time, but I'm sure there's been cases where it's like, yeah, I want to play a game like that. 
I really like that Ford versus Ferrari uh, film, and that sure made me want to play some racing games. Pathetic Earthling. Yeah, they did a great job with that, that series. It was awesome. Okay, so here, where are we going? We're playing uh, hide-and-seek. Was this... Okay, so I got to go find... Was this enhanced? I, I don't know, guys. Oh, right. Sorry, guys. I forgot about that. Thank you, Kashimoto. I always find you. Game ran at 30. Okay. Because this is feeling very fluid right now. Okay, you win. You should go now. Some other can see you, too. Ugh. As it should, right? Well, you were gone, but that's Mother's awesome that... Very sad. I think she missed you. You can just load up an old game and it's better. I love that. I found that with Titanfall 2 when I first load, loaded Titanfall 2 up on the uh, Series X. Completely blew me away. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the aisles to beg for aid. This was enhanced Wasted vapor time. zone. Very My cool. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, high overseer. Uh, vapor zone. That's the big question. I think um, Gamescom is going to do some in person and some uh, virtual, and that's in August. I'm not and so sure that painting. Maybe like PAX will do something like that as well. I was talking to a friend uh, yesterday, um, uh, and we we're both kind of thinking that maybe because you know people in the gaming industry it's those events where we kind of we're all sort of bunkered and doing our thing and then at those events like e3 and gamescom and pax and comic-con that's when we kind of There's reconnect and people, see each other not criminals. Uh, and he, and he suggested that, that the next time that we're all going to be able to do that as an citizens. industry is going to be the game awards in december if we can. which is um, all of them insane Very what well. a year right we i hope you're all doing okay again. But uh, what a crazy time. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises. This looks great. As usual. I mean, it's it's stylized, which was the original art, but um, and a, ver a very smart choice. Doesn't look state of the art, modern, brand new, but it still Bobby looks Captain, great. It's a fair wind that brings love. you home to me. What news have you brought? Uh oh, he's the bad guy. Uh, let's go. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. Oh, defiance was a cool idea, bad. Kashimoto. Yeah, We're I remember at the breaking that. Point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Totally, you Emilio. Away. Mother, look! Yeah, a very what smart. For, it's always kind what? of smart to not Emily, be. Come here chasing the photorealistic kind of idea because it's so hard to do Emily, get behind me. and uh and then you've got a game that's going to hold up i mean nintendo's 
They've done that forever. They, they still do it forever. They still do it. <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more. Not again. Mommy! No! Again, from her. quite Bioshockian. Corvo! <laughs> Excellent game. Tragic, awful. Get oh my away! god. Corvo! So this game came out in 2011, I believe, and my daughter was born in 2012. Oh, no. And it's I remember playing this again hard. after she was born. Everything I, just I resonated and registered very her. differently after You're my kid was born. One. It was very hard for You'll me to watch to children in peril or for, for, to see them get Corvo. traumatized at all. Uh, you know, playing the beginning of The Last of Us, what and I did again all? when I did Look The Last of Us Part Two. God. Yes. He's oh, the Last Empress. of Us in general. Oh my goodness. It's hard to play that game what as a What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Um, Peg Do I ever him. do Let's Play with E peeps? I absolutely should do that. Uh, maybe that's something that I can start to incorporate, because I'm going to be doing more of the, uh, the... I'm trying to kind of balance building as much content as I can comfortably, and the live stuff does make it a little bit easier. Um, and I'm going to be doing some more uh, uh, EPN plays type streams if I'm going to do the live streams. So uh, maybe one of the things that we could do is start to incorporate playing with some of the E peeps, which would be cool. All right, so you start off in prison. Should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Yeah, it's to this game totally holds up. Fantastic title. How old did you say your sister was? Blow off. How come so many people are the execution tomorrow? He's gotta get me You're out. Good for you. So it's an Cut some throats. Right. A social event for the high and mighty. Come see the noble. Oh, Attention. Oh, shit. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the law. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance. I don't know if you can. I guess I could notice. stealth through that. But. So good. It's like a fast paced. Oh, shit. It's, it's a little bit like a fast paced, fast paced uh, Skyrim in a way, looting all kinds of stuff. sound always freaked me out the uh, when they're making announcements and stuff that always freaked me out the audio mix in this game is excellent yeah this is very fluid very fun right away oh I can drink do I need to no <laughs> Very good, Matthew. Look who brought a knife to a gunfight. Look who brought a knife to a gunfight. Yes. He opens the ball on you, Mr. Nash. You must be prepared to go all the way. He pulls a knife. You pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital. You send one of his to the morgue. That's the Chicago way.
Gimme! Oh, I should have drank. Ah, let's uh, read this. Okay, no. <laughs> Two micros for full fuck. Uh, I'm a PlayStation guy all day, but the new Sorry. Xbox looks way Not better yet. than the PS5 to me, hands down. Murdoch McCoy. There's a lot of benefits to, to the rounds. Xbox for well, sure, but that exclusive it's library on PlayStation game. and the machine itself is great. And the uh, controller, I love it. They're both so good. They just need software. They need stuff that's going to knock our socks like new software that's going to knock our socks off. Plus, more backwards. <laughs> Slack John as Bottle Street Boys jump you. Personnel shut eye to the event and approves execution is tomorrow, right? Yeah, but everything I love that you're a badass right away. I can't wait to see his head roll. Let's beat him to But then you just become way more of a badass. Love it. Okay, there's the outer door. Let's go. Speed running. Yeah, baby. Oh, shit. Okay, over there. Oh, you rock, Goku. Thank you so much for the super chat, pal. Have a great night. We will see you soon. Uh, I locked out the last couple of restocks of the PS5. Awesome. That's awesome, Kashimoto. Why did that voice remind me of Jim Carrey's impression of the Grinch? Oh, no. I hope not, Cat. Uh, do not get me wrong. They are both going to get my money. Just saying. We're not, I mean, that's, that's the way, right? Like, they're both going to have cool exclusives. Xbox is buying their way to that. Sony's already spent on lots of great studios, and they've got cool exclusives. So when you know you're going to be playing games on both, I know that these machines are expensive propositions right now, but they're still, like, combined, they're less than buying a, uh, uh, a, you know, a decent gaming PC. And the exclusives that they're each going to create will, you know, like, I always had all the machines when I was growing up. I always had them all because I knew that, Sega had excellent things, and Nintendo had excellent things, and Sony had excellent things. And um, it, it, yes, that initial outlay is expensive, but what's really expensive are the games. Like when you start to collect the library of them. And so why not, you know, have the, the pick of the best games? And the only way you kind of get that is with exclusives. Now, saying all that, I'm anti-exclusive, and I can't wait for... Uh, um, the, the, the business to be less focused on how and where you play the stuff and more on just getting more people to play all the cool things. Um, but we're a ways away from that. And I know that exclusives and, and people kind of m making choices on the hardware and all of that plays into it. But the best, the best way to experience it is to uh, sort of be in all the ecosystems. You don't have to do it all at once either. But then I guess, uh, you know, a huge thing that comes into play is where your friends play and if you're going to play online play, uh, online multiplayer. The cool thing is, can't really go wrong. Still playing the uh, 
Switch. New games on the Switch like crazy, even in the face of all of these brand new systems. This game is awesome. And I'm playing classic games all the time, too. <laughs> uh, it's great how you never really changed. <laughs> well, I, 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 I was me. That was, that was, I wasn't playing me. That's me. Okay, here we go. Oh, poor dude. Um, so I gotta get him off of this. Sorry, buddy. Open this up. Everything is so easy. It's just so fluid and smooth. Very fun. Right away. Man, if you've got an Xbox and you have not checked this game out, you are in for a treat. And then there's the sequel, which is great as well. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, well, um, that's a good little taste there. Why don't we do, uh, you know, 20 minutes of uh, whatever you guys want me to play. Why don't we pick something out of the... Uh, um, Xbox, uh, uh, like enhanced for Xbox Series X here. So uh, that's kind of the list of stuff that's on the internal SSD right now. Pick one, and the more votes uh, that I get, I'll uh, I'll play it, and I'll read a couple things while you guys type in some stuff here. Uh, I love Sony's awesome backwards compatibility. Dot dot dot, and the. Mm, I don't know how I don't how do you describe the flat smile face? Um notice he left out 3DO from that list. No, I had a 3DO as well. Uh but there weren't that many great things there. Uh that's Matthew Winstone. Uh, JBJ Blaze and TFA. I am finally back and I've got to get back into Dishonored. Yes, you do, J -J JBJ. It's amazing. We are all part of a luxury hobby. We can't even pretend we're broke if we're playing all of these games, Farscape. Yes, but Game Pass changes the equation, and soon Sony is going to have some kind of thing to counter it because it's it's taken off. Um, it's uh, it's really proving itself, um, and you, know, you I mean you have access to this massive library of brand new things, you know, for the price of one game uh, it, it, over the course of a year, ish. Uh, is Ninja Gaiden enhanced? I don't think it is. It did, I don't think it, it, it always ran at 60 frames per second. It was always super fluid. I got a Marvel's Avengers. I got a Valhalla. I got a Watch Dogs. So everybody's picking something different. Hitman. Uh, I got two Hitman so far. Um, No Man's Sky. Uh, thinking of cheating on the PlayStation with Xbox Series X. Man, you can't go wrong. You really can't. Like, just think, have it in your mind that eventually you might have more than one of these, you know? Um, they're all they're all really good machines. Wow, we are not doing a great job with consensus here. No, everybody wants something different. Um, Avengers? Uh, sure, we'll play Avengers. Um, you got three for Hitman 3? Mm, uh, but, uh, let's play Avengers. I think people are... True gamers are not bound by a platform. Neil Trotman, absolutely. So I, I ha I've been playing this on the... Oh, so this has to update. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hundred and we're not going to be playing Avengers. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I had three for Hitman. Let's see if I have to upgrade this. I, I think I probably do. There's, there's all of these different games. This game is amazing. Uh, I finished it and loved it. Just sort of the main campaigns or the main campaign. And there's a whole bunch of different ways to go back in. Um, it is so good. Holy crap. I loved it. I loved playing it. This game requires 106 gigabytes of update. <laughs> oh my god. I'll play as Batwing. Um, I did try to stream this on Twitch. And uh, 
This was during the launch week, and it wouldn't stream. No, pathetic, because I, it's on, I have it on Xbox. I don't have it on uh, uh, PC. I think I, I could check it out on PC. I, I didn't play it in VR. I should. Um, okay. So why don't we just play something? Let's see. Let's just go in and... This is a good level. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna, uh... Options, I'm gonna turn the music off just in case. Destinations, China. Here we go, end of an era. Let's see what happens here. All right. Yeah, Kashimoto, I tried and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't go right from the Xbox for some reason. <laughs> and I got a vote from Hip Hop Dan for Maneater. Short hair with a bright green bag. Sorry. Shit. She says she'd meet me here. She's probably running late. Yeah. So this is obviously not taking full advantage of all of the HDR and the beautiful lighting and stuff. This is a gorgeous game. She was my rock. She always let me copy her notes. She would never have kept me waiting like this. Sometimes it feels like she's changed. People change. So I have to go and eliminate a couple of different targets. Eric J, we will. Absolutely, we'll get Tommy on here again soon. Hello, dancer. I guess we will see some ray tracing even in this 1080p presentation, right? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, I have Batman Arkham Vision. It's the right bumper, so I can kind of see where my target is down there. There's a whole bunch of guys. So, the, you know, the secret here is you got to try to blend in. Gorgeous game. Holy crap. Looks so good. They're just showing off on this level. Oh, my knee is so sore. It's like so that. fun. And I'm, I'm, I'm not great at it. I'm a bit clumsy. But I had a good time. Which is all that matters. So I got two guys there. Can't really just barge right in. I think I I entered as a chef or something. Hello there. Hello. Let's go in here. What's happening here? And you know, I was kind of just trying to complete missions, so I wasn't learning tons, but. Um, there's lots of little details, and you can play, you can go back in and play these missions again, and the people are constantly making up stuff for you to retry these game, uh, these uh, levels and these stages. And I have, um, I have Hitman 2 on the Xbox, so all of the Hitman 2 stuff is also playable, all of the different maps and stuff. Yeah, I can't speak highly enough of this, and I'm so happy for IO that they're self-publishing and they've got the James Bond game in the works, and such a cool company. Okay, they're looking for me right now. I made people suspicious. Not a good idea. So I can I can get all over the place. Remember when you were taking those dance lessons? I could swear I used to be able to see the floor. Shit. Was today's code? One, one, three? No. Um, come on, Frank. Zero one. Definitely zero one. Something. Okay, 
Yeah, man. Oh, that's the other thing. I don't say that thing when I play the game. Yeah, because it's so nerve-wracking right away. It's so intense, this game. Welcome. Please follow the gray line to security check. Thank you. Okay, so I, I am not camouflaged at all. And I should I should be, but I'm not, which is silly. Okay, I need to I need to change my outfit into something. Let's see if I can find any people. Here we go. Oh, there's that guy down there. Let's see if I can knock him out. Oh, there's two guys. Don't want them to see me. Got to find the people alone. I may I may have screwed myself. By coming in by my uh, in my clothes. Let's see. I don't have the car. The key. There's code. no way you're getting through that door, 47. Okay. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. Hey. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. You can use your camera to hack that panel. Yeah, sorry. And what, and what, is that to, what is the camera? Uh, what, what will that panel do? Security protocol overruled. Right now. Shit. What? I'm screwed. Access granted. Wake up. We got a situation here. You can't be here. Sir. I'm done. <laughs> oh man, I'm so dead. Look at all of this security. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh. You go, flush him out. This is not how you play, Hitman. You don't kill everybody. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh man, I rarely hear Victor swear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I swear when I'm uh, making huge blunders. Um, yeah, it's so fun. Okay, uh, let's play a different level here. Just so you can take a look at the game. It's cool. They have an easy allies mission in there. That's pretty rad. Um, so this guy, he's the. There's an exclusive target Good evening, here. Let's 47. see. The target is Jimmy. Classic Chen, Vic Death. A cynical yeah. tabloid journalist who will literally kill for a good story. A failed actor who became an internet sensation. The target has made a name for <laughs> JBJ. online yeah. journalism by creating Yes, I did not. I did not like Assassin's headlines. Creed the movie. When taking on a pharmaceutical conglomerate. Chen obtained evidence that the company was withholding damaging data on an antidepressant. Instead of going public, Chen sat on the material for a year until a sudden wave of suicides gave him the sales hook he needed. Our client's sister jumped in front of a train, and they hold Chen accountable. It's such a cool game because it's it's a little bit like Jimmy The Sims Chen's in a way. Like every character is kind of going on, for a US tabloid their, you know, with their lives, and you have to eavesdrop and blend in. Uh, and then they they go nuts when uh, uh, when playing an elusive target. The following route: you must begin the contract before the countdown expires. If you die, you may not retry the con. Uh, yeah, there's all of this cool extra stuff to kind of keep you invested so let's see how i do i've never done an, an, an elusive contract i think since welcome the to the first go round on the hitman the target has been spotted um, near the keep gallery dressed as a waiter look for anyone who's acting out of uh, franchise when and they first started to, to do Chen's these things pre this more recent trilogy so i can just Sir. go right on up Okay, let's go. 
Uh, the ship tutorial? No. Um, there was a tutorial mission. I, I don't know. It felt like an easy onboard with uh, Kashimoto with the game. I, and I don't know if it's because I played Hello, 1 sir. and 2, but... I, I was surprised at, at um, how easily I was able to get into the game. Not saying Hello, the game there. was easy. This is gorgeous. God. Okay, so where's my enemy? Where's my, my hit? Retrieve the dictaphone. This is so eyes wide shut. I was reading today that they're making a Hitman show or movie or something, but the Hitman's going to have his hair in it. I can't let you pass, sir. Move along, please. Okay. All right. That was very polite. So I need to be an employee. So let's um, look at this. It's so beautiful, right? What an amazing, amazing game. They did an awesome job with this. Going here, let's see. Well, this is uh, security. I don't know. Let's see. Welcome, sir. I take it this is your first gathering. Would you like to know more about the Stronghold product line? Yes. Yes. The Stronghold series is our original and most popular initiative. Bright and spacious, our underground shelters are a far cry from the Avatar guy asked, maybe he will be very stressed and lose his hair. <laughs> uh, missing poison, okay, so. Oh, she, she's walking me through. Not a problem. Feel free to look around all you want, sir. Oh, damn it. I've been recorded on the security camera. I forgot all the mechanics in this. Okay, so who's this guy? No. Oh, cool. I I don't know if I've I think I've seen this level, but from a totally different vantage point, right? Like, they create these big sandbox, these big open spaces. And then you can play them in, in uh, any way that you want to. Okay, here we go. Is there a way out of here? No. Okay. The detail's amazing. God, it's so good. This is not a game to be chatty through, though. That, that's the, at least the way that I play it, right? Like you're just concentrating. Where do I go? Who can I take? Where? Who can I take out? Who can I ensnare? So dead. That's it. Oh. Tried to create a distraction. I don't know the map. Um, but uh, yeah, amazing. Um, okay, I'm sorry my gameplay wasn't better. But that was a little bit of a taste of uh, Xbox Series X. We got a little bit of uh, some of the Bethesda content. Um, I will be streaming more because I like this very much. So the next go round is... Uh, uh, probably Tuesday. So tomorrow I'll come back with a regular rundown. Uh, I've got a, a VIX basement coming together for Friday, um, which I think will be around 3 o'clock, and there'll be another rundown in there. Uh, but soon I will be uh, 
uh, streaming again, and I'll figure out some cool games and some cool stuff to take a look at. Um, and more content is headed your way. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your super chats today, and thank you for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome and thank you. And I hope uh, you dig into some of the content and, and you enjoy what you see. And if you do, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, thank you, of course, to all of our EPN members. You guys are amazing. Uh, I will see you tomorrow with some brand new content. Thanks for watching today. Until then, play forever.